without any muscles. You cannot move, you cannot do anything. You need muscles. They are the engine that keeps the body to do things. So they will be the first to get in trouble when the movements are out of balance, when the dog is out of balance, when he has to do too much and the wrong things for his body, it will be the muscles that suffer. So look at the dogs and muscles. Okay? I know it's a fashion with all these blah blah things everywhere. Yeah, I have nothing against it, but it doesn't help for these things. You have to see the difference. If you feel good about taking your dog to this and that and everything, fine if the dog feels good with it. But it won't help him. If it's muscles, that's causing pain. <coughs> Can you promise me that? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, let's look at the things. We take, let's say we have a dog that has, he gets stressed by something particular. Then we take away this possibility for the dog to get re uh, any reactions. We have to take away the possibility for the dog to react. That's the first we do. And of course, if it has something to do with movements, balance, so on, tense muscles, let him be checked for that. And then we have to do some practical things. Um, get the necessary distance to things so he does not react. In some cases, the distance can be 10 meters, in other cases, 300. And you have to take the, get the distance that is good for your dog. They can look at each other as much as they want, but the distance should be safe. That's one of the things we can do. <coughs> Curving when we meet somebody is essential because that's what dogs will do naturally. So when you meet somebody, instead of going straight on and really stressing your dog, because I know that is impolite, you curve. And you curve as much as is necessary for that dog to feel okay. The dog you see there, he barks hysterically at everybody they met in when they were out walking. But when he was able to curb that much, he didn't bark anymore. That was what he needed. Going straight onto somebody is a threat, seen from the dog's point of view. Never do it. Always curb when you meet a dog. Always make your dog curb when you meet somebody. In the end, you don't just need a small curve, but it should be there. Any questions around that? 